In this video, we're going to be looking at a drug that is the only drug on the planet for alopecia that is currently in the phase three of clinical trials. Make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. On this channel, we do tons of science-backed videos all about how you can combat hair loss and regrow healthy hair. Now, if you do want updating on any hair loss news or any breakthroughs that we find out about, make sure to hit subscribe to the channel. So guys, before we get into the video, if you do like this kind of content, if you do like being updated on the latest and greatest hair loss news, make sure to smash the like and make sure to let me know in the comments and we'll keep making more of these videos so we can keep updating you. Now, we're gonna jump into my computer. Yo guys, so we're now in my computer and Fierce Biotech, which is a news website for any biotech industry news, have recently had a conversation with the CEO of Samumed. Uh, his name is Osman Kibar. So they have had this report here. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to create drugs that help activate the WNT pathway. So what this can do is it can help with anti-aging and also interestingly, it can help with alopecia. So as we scroll down the article, we learn that they're, they're doing various drugs. They're doing a lot of drugs. I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, but what is pretty interesting is the ones that they're trying to do in alopecia. So just have a quick look. Um, they've got a treatment here for alopecia in phase three. And what they say here is that uh, Sambumed expects its phase three osteoarthritis study to be out by the end of 2020. Uh, in the alopecia treatment, they believe that it's close behind with approval anticipated in late 2021 or early 2022. So overall, the work that Samumed are doing are looking like it's going to come out, is going to be released. Um, so just so we know, the WNT pathway that they're trying to activate, it plays a key role in hair growth. And we know that the WNT stroke beta catenin signaling is specifically involved in hair follicle morphogenesis, regeneration, and growth. Uh, we also know that, again, it plays an important role in hair follicle morphogenesis and hair growth. What is also quite interesting is it's actually not related to the drug, but um, this activation of the WNT stroke beta catenin pathway is actually the reason why low light laser therapy is thought to be effective. And this study actually found out that it was effective. Uh, it's this very specific 655 nanometers of red light and LED in vitro um, are the, the most effective, they were found to be the most effective and practical for stimulating hair growth. Uh, but the reason why it's effective is, is thought to be because of the activation of WNT stroke beta catenin, uh, which is pretty interesting. So what we found is Follicle Fort actually uh, spoke with Samumed and they spoke with the patient advocacy associate there. They found out that regarding SM04554, which is the drug that they are producing, and the phase two stroke three trial being conducted in Turkey. So the actual trial is being conducted in Turkey. Now, based on our pre-trial meeting with the Ministry of Health in Turkey, if the trial meets its primary endpoints, the data would support a marketing application in Turkey. So it's looking like the uh, when when the when the uh, when the clinical trial is over, it should be available in Turkey. Now, further, the trial also supports our IND, which stands for Investigational New Drug, with the FDA. And as we know, the FDA are the Food and Drug Administration over in the United States, and the only things available on the market. Uh, according to the FDA, are finasteride and minoxidil. Now, we have not yet had an end of phase two meeting with the FDA, so they've not actually spoken about the phase two uh, clinical trial just yet. Now, based on the data from the trial, we would determine whether to have such a meeting to discuss with the agency what further data and trials would be necessary to support an NDA here in the United States. So it's looking like the medication should be coming out in Turkey, uh, but not in the United States. So just a bit more information on the drug. Uh, we can see that some of the WNT pathway drugs that they're also working on to cure these things is looking quite interesting. Uh, and then if we click here on the androgenetic alopecia, which is in phase three, along with the osteoarthritis of the knee medication, SM04554, we can have a look at this and we can actually see a little bit of information on what study that they're doing. So we click on phase three. If you want, I'll link you to this in the description. You can have a look at the other phases of that they've already been through, but we're most interested in phase three because if this goes through, then they're able to apply for marketing, which means that it could hit the market. Now, 
we can see here that what they're trying to do is they actually have 625 participants so it's a huge clinical trial with many many people and they're basically trying to find trying to find out the best concentration so I have a 0.15 or 0.25 percent concentration of the topical application and they're looking which one is best now this study they've got many criteria so it's, they're looking at Norwood Hamilton classification score of uh, 3v or 4 so it's people that are quite well on with their helos so it's going to be really interesting to see what this looks like uh, at the end of the study but we're going to find out what the best dosage is and so on so guys that's what i wanted to share with you on this medication that samumed are producing it's looking pretty interesting we will update you if we hear anything else around this medication or any other medications that we think will be of interest to you guys you'll make sure to hit subscribe if you do enjoy this content please hit like and let me know in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks